I am now going to install one of the valves. I'll start with the exhaust valve. Um, the valve should just drop right into place. I don't have any oil or anything on it, and you'll see that uh, once I put this in the seat, it should just very nicely just drop right into place. You should have some really nice action here. It should move smoothly. If it doesn't, then you might need to address some other things, but I'm in good shape here. So I'm gonna, again, I'm going to use a nice clean piece of paper towel, jam this up in there. And the reason I do that is so that when you put the spring on and the keeper, you compress that. You don't want the valve to be dropping down at the same time because that just kind of defeats the purpose. So I've got my nice little ignition wrench here, which just so happens to be a 1564 opening. And... On my magnet, I have my clip, retaining clip, so that once I get this pushed down, the spring compressed, I can just kind of slide that into place here. So I'm going to carefully put the keeper on. Actually, I need to get use my magnet now to get the keeper. Put the keeper on there. Let me reset my clip here. So I've got that pre-compressed, I'll just slide my wrench over the top of it, push it down the rest of the way so I've got a clear yeah. the clip came off and isn't wanting to cooperate, it's got a little bit of a magnetic there. Alright, so it's in place. That was a little bit more challenging than I thought, it didn't work quite as well, but uh, the clip now is in place. You can take that out. You can see we got good valve spring action here. That's basically the process for installing the valves on this thing. Okay, I've got both valves installed in the head now. Again, you can see how nice that head looks. And you can see uh, when I get this at the right angle, you can see I did get that exhaust valve cleaned up quite a bit. It does look pretty nice there. So the other thing I like to do at this step here is at least with this OS engine, because you've got the exhaust manifold threads into the exhaust side, obviously, and the intake has a threaded portion that goes in there, too. So basically, these little areas in here should be sealed chambers. So you can check your sealing of your exhaust valve and your intake valve area and make sure those valve seats are sealed real well by just screwing in your intake side and just blowing in this thing. Might need to torque that thing down, tighten this up a little bit, but basically what you can do is you can tighten this up, put this at an angle so you can blow into it, tighten it up. I don't have my wrench with me at the moment. And if you blow in there, you should not feel any air escaping at all. And if you had any air escaping, it'd be coming from the seat, seat area. So that's just a good quick test you can check to uh, make sure you've got good compression there still and you don't have any issues with your valve seat before you move on. Okay, before I continue the assembly here, I'm going to uh, talk about these push rods and the push rod tubes and that kind of thing. So on this particular engine, the FS90, the push rods are identical. Exhaust and intake are the same, and they're actually symmetrical pieces too. They don't have any chamfered ends or anything like that, so it doesn't really matter which one you put where. They're both going to operate the same. The push rod tubes, you'll see, have these little ridges on them and should have two o-rings on there the big o-ring goes on the end that's going to seat under the engine here and the small o-ring should pop into place and it's going to actually be the part that seals up in the head area here you want to make sure you do have these o-rings uh, these things probably could be replaced fairly easily probably not from os i don't know that they use these type of o-rings anymore uh, but you might be able to find these at a hardware store or something like that. Now, I inspected these O-rings, and they're in pretty good shape. They're not broken or dry rotted or flattened out, so I'm going to go ahead and use them. Uh, the other thing is I always make sure, and I kind of did this when I cleaned up the casing here, but I always make sure that the, the seating area there is nice and clean. There's not a whole lot of garbage. There tends to be garbage that can kind of build up there over time because uh, it's an area where oil can seep out and then if there's any dirt in the area it's going to collect in there and just be all nasty so i've got this uh, all nice and cleaned up here 
and I'm going to go ahead and put these push rods on and then we'll reattach the head.